everybody, it's Donya Pukalita, and today we're not at the Puka Warehouse, we're at Neonu's Yoga Studio. Hopefully you have all been following our 6 to Sassy Challenge. That's 6 months to a sassy new you. And what we're doing is just baby steps, something that you can incorporate to your life, that in 6 months you're going to be a little healthier. So our first week we made our sassy water, and hopefully everybody's drinking their sassy water every day, all day long. Uh, last week we introduced green tea. So how to use green tea for the inside and for the outside, because green tea is fabulous, packed with powerful antioxidants. So today, instead of giving you something else to drink, I wanted to incorporate some exercise. Before you get upset, wait a minute, it's just going to be very gentle, easy exercise. We're going to introduce some yoga. And Neono is a fabulous yoga instructor. She does personal courses, she can do them for your church, she can do them for groups. She's going to give us four or five easy yoga poses that we can do as soon as we get out of bed. Either while we're in the bed or when we step out of the bed, one, two, three, four, five, off to the shower. I think that we can all do that, okay? All right, so come on over. Everyone, this is Neonu, our yoga instructor extraordinaire. How are you today? I'm great. Good, I'm good, great. good. Thank you for inviting us into your oh, studio. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is such a great idea and it's wonderful to have everybody incorporating yoga into their um, daily practice because it's really easy and the benefits are, are terrific. You do something small, you know, Oprah's been talking about, everybody's been talking about small steps each day that can really transform your life. And I truly feel yoga is one of those things, mm -hmm. a little something every day. And you're really going to give us some, some small things that we can do. Yep. So five things you can do in the bed, one thing you do. Off the bed, into the shower, done. Who can't do that? I'm excited. And then you'll show us, you'll tell us after what the benefits of the poses are. Mm -hmm. I okay. sure will. All right, let's go. Pose number one. You're in your bed, ready to start your day. And we're going to begin with some deep breathing exercises. This brings you oxygen to your body, brings your mind, your consciousness into your day. It's very relaxing. You can do these deep breathing exercises anywhere, anytime, and it really is very calming. We'll start by bringing our hands to our belly. Our feet are pointing towards the foot of the bed. Our, toe, our feet are flexed, toes pointing towards the ceiling. Now imagine air, oxygen, flowing through the bottom of your feet. Eyes are closed, lips slightly touching, and that oxygen is flowing through your feet, up through your legs, through the middle of your body, filling your lungs and your belly with air. Your belly is rising towards your fingertips. Air is flowing into your chest, all the way up through your shoulders, out through the tip of your head, and then you exhale. your nose. Repeat that process. Inhaling, pointing your heels away from your body, air coming in through your legs, into your chest, filling your body with oxygen and life, and exhaling, letting out that carbon dioxide and toxins. Now we'll add a stretch. As you inhale, Bring your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, and extend your palms towards the head of your bed. Your feet are still flexed, and as you inhale, just extend both ends of your body away from each other. Inhaling, 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 and on the exhale, let everything go and release. We'll continue by bringing our knees to our chest and hugging our knees towards our chest. On your next exhale, raise your face towards your knees and hold that just for a moment. It's a great upper body stretch and it also gives your middle some motion. Great for your digestion. Lower your head. Inhale, raise your head. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, raise your head. Exhale, lower. Bring your palms to the mat or your bed and point your toes 
towards the ceiling. We're going to do some nice um, flexing and pointing of our feet, which are great for the back of your legs and just wakes up your legs. So just at your own pace, point your toes and then flex your toes and really point the heels of your toes, of, of your feet rather, towards the ceiling. Then point and flex and point and flex. Now separate your legs a bit, point your toes and begin to make great big circles with your big toe on the ceiling. This is terrific for your ankles. Your ankles hold you up all day and we don't really give them very much attention. So let's just give our ankle a little thank you. And we'll reverse our circles. Thank you for holding me up in those stilettos. Then <laughs> bring your knees back to your chest and just hug your legs to your chest, head to your knees. Exhale and lower. You ready? Ready. Okay. Hug your knees into your chest and extend your right leg towards the mat. Your foot is flexed. Inhale. And as you exhale, take your left knee across your body with your right hand, bringing your knee towards your mat. Your head is facing the ceiling. And just stay here for a couple of breaths. You can work with your breath. Inhale, and on the exhale, just let your body relax a little bit more into the pose. Your hand is just a gentle weight on your knee. Don't push, just let it sit. On your next inhale, roll back. And bring your knees to your chest. And since yoga is about balance, what we do on the right, on, we do on the left. So, extend your left knee towards the mat. With your left hand, bring your right knee across your body to the left. Now you can continue here looking up at the ceiling, or if you would like to add another layer to the turn, turn your body, turn your head towards your right shoulder. Again, hold this pose for three or four breaths. Then roll back onto your back, head to your knees. We're going to continue with a couple of twists. Twists are terrific. They massage your inner organs. They're great for your digestion. They also um, work the groin and the lower back muscles. So it's a great place to start your day to just get your circulation moving in your body. And you can do this sitting up in your bed. You can do this sitting up in your bed. And you can cross your knees yoga style, but really, you can go with any position that's comfortable. You can have your legs straight, you can have your legs open. Find the position that's right for you. Okay, Wherever you are, you can bring your hands to the bed or to your knees, whichever is comfortable. And we're going to start by just doing a, another twist to the right and to the left. And this is really good for the internal digestive organs. So, um, whereas the lying down twist was good for your back, your lower back, this one is more good for your, the center of your body. So, sit up straight. Okay. Be aware of where your shoulders are. Your shoulders are away from your ear. Your tongue is relaxed. You'd be stunned by how much tension we hold in our jaw and our tongue. Just, if you let it sit, just sit in your mouth, you'll feel your jaw relax. So relax your shoulders and your tongue. Inhale, and on your exhale, just turn to the right. Look over your right shoulder as much as you can. And to relax your neck, just begin to make great big circles with your chin. Does that look weird? We don't care, as long as it's beneficial to us. <laughs> Do three or four of those, and then you do it in the reverse. And then look over your shoulder once again. Inhale, and on your exhale, back to center. 
We'll reverse it. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, turning to the left. Looking over your left shoulder. And making those great big circles with your chin to relax your neck. One more glance over your shoulder and come back to center. Our next twist will be a forward, our next pose will be a forward bend. So when you inhale, raise your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, stretch them up towards the ceiling, and on your exhale, just fold forward and bring your palms down to the mattress in front of you. Don't worry how low you can go. The key here is to keep your back as straight as possible. So you don't want to hunch like this. You want to have a straight back. And you're going to feel this in your, uh, a little bit in your lower back, but in your groin. It's a good opener for your groin. Just hold your breath. Breathe for a couple of breaths, rather. And on the last inhale, come up. And we're going to end our practice with downward dog. This is one of the best all over body stretches you can do. It brings oxygen to the brain because you're in an inverted position. It stretches your body from the back all the way up to the sides. It's good for your core. Great all over body stretch. So let's begin by inhaling and bringing our arms up overhead. On our exhale, bend over, bring your fingertips to the floor. Now, you, your knees can be bent. Be really gentle with yourself in the morning, so don't try to be, you know, Miss Athlete. Bring your knees to the floor, then your palms, then you just step back. Right foot forward, left foot forward. Let your hands sink between, your, your head sink between your arms. Your body's in a V shape. Your toes are pointing towards the floor. And you're gonna feel this through mm -hmm. the, the, your arms, up through your hips. You really want to intensify it. Point your hips up towards the ceiling. And if you want to stretch out the back of your legs, you can do what's called walking the dog. Bend your knees left and right, cycling your heels up and down. And come back. You can hold this as long as you're able. Some people start with like 15 seconds and then go up to a minute. Okay, and then the easy way to come out is just bring your knees to the mat. Bring your hips towards your knees, forehead to the mat into what we call child's pose. And just rest here for a moment. You're done. Off to the shower and a wonderful day. You no can't beat stay. that. You cannot beat that. Off to the shower. You're in exercising in the bed. Who does that for you but Kuka? Now, Neonu, mm -hmm. we just finished. This was fabulous. How long would you say this workout took us? Uh, it took about five to ten minutes. Okay. Um, we started with uh, breathing, which brought our awareness into our day, and we became aware of our body. Um, we continued with a series of stretches, which um, just made, um, improved our circulation and just kind of awakened us a bit. Um, and then we ended up with Downward Dog. I'm a big fan of Downward Dog. And this just is an all-over body stretch. It improves your circulation. It brings oxygen to the brain. And all together, we just calmed ourselves, energized ourselves, and now we can meet our day with a calm, peaceful energy. There you have it. Yoga people, let's get on it. Namaste, right? Namaste, Namaste. <laughs>